Night of the Gargoyles by Eve Bunting, illustrated by David Wisner. Gargoyle, a water spout in the form of a grotesque human or animal figure projecting from the roof or eaves of a building. The gargoyle squat, high on corners, staring into space, their empty eyes unblinking. Till night comes. Then there is movement in the shadowy corners as the gargoyles creep on stubs of feet along the high ledges and peer, nearsighted into rooms where mummies lie in boxes long and thin as coffins ribboned round with painted boats and figures dark as night. And gargoyle creep again to gape at suits of armor, shining, stiff, the helmets hinged on eyes as bloodless as their own. Or tired of viewing, fly, if they have gargoyle wings, straight up to lick the stars with long stone tongues, green pickled at the edges, or land in sleeping trees to swing on branches, da di da and feel the air move cool against their pock-marked stone. Then down they swoop to where a fountain splashes dark the water spitting from a cherub's mouth, they gargoyle hunch around the rim and gargoyle grunt with friends from other corners who have come for company. They grunt of what they've seen and where they've been, how hot the corners when the sun is high, especially the ones beside the clock. How noisy, too. They grump of summer passing and the rain that pours in torrents through their gaping lips and chokes their throats with autumn's leaves. And then those birds that come to rudely perch and leave behind their mottled stains. They lap the water with their mossy tongues and split splat each other with their claws and boom those gargoyle laughs that rumble thick because there is no space inside their solid stone for laughs to somersault. A watchman hurries by and checks the sky for thunder. He's seen the gargoyles huddle there before. And once he told the man behind the frosted door and heard him snort his disbelief. Gargoyles indeed, you're seeing things. So now he checks the sky to hide his fear. The gargoyles rasp their wings and pull their thumbs behind their crumbling ears to show their scorn. They have no love of humans who have made them so and set them high on ledges where dark pigeons go. They stomp their feet and rumble laugh to see the watchman close his eyes and turn away. Ock! the gargoyle scream and awk again and spread their lips in mischief smiles. The watchman hunches down and hurries on. 
It's almost morning now. And so the gargoyles fly or wingless crawl up walls as spiders do. They take their corners quietly and stare and stare their empty eyes unblinking. Till night comes.